learned with tin <laughs> I think that you notice something different again <clears throat> that's right I made my photo smaller than before I I found it really disturbing <laughs> when I watched my video I felt like oh wow it's so disturbing okay so I just uh, minimized it how are you I hope everyone's doing well today safe and healthy uh, previously we had pronouns and I hope you learned something about pronouns you have so many different kinds of pronouns um, if you haven't seen the video please check it out in my channel okay uh, well you will not have a hard time finding it since I only have a couple of videos there <laughs> okay anyway let's get started okay today we are doing dun, 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 verbs that's right we are going to talk about verbs so verb um, verb actually is a very important part of speech because it makes the sentence complete you know without other parts of the predicate a verb can be just as ease just as a predicate so if you have your subject any kind of noun and then you will connect a verb to it then boom that is a whole sentence already now what is a verb a verb conveys action as simple as that it's an action word okay however it's not all about action okay i think that you learned before that verb is just an action word however here we are going to learn that verb is also a state of being we are going to learn so much about helping verb or what we call auxiliary verb we're going to talk about that later so action verbs action verbs what is that okay let us read an action verb shows what a noun in a sentence has done is doing or will do okay for example here Annie writes on the board okay what is Annie doing here she writes on the board the puppy ran down the road the action is ran right you better run 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 <laughs> okay this is not a singing video let's move on the students will play in the band concert okay so our verb here is play play okay play a musical instrument that is an action word write run and play now here we have different words um, this is a very short activity that you can do by yourself you can pause the video and see choose the verb that or choose rather choose the word that you think is a verb for example number one I did it already for you okay so here we have book candle dance table naturally in our previous um, lesson we learned that book is a noun right since it's a thing candle as well table so these three words are nouns and that leaves us the word dance okay dance is not a noun this is an action word dance is when you move your body in the tune of any kind of music any kind of melody okay so pause the video and answer from number two to number ten you can write down your answers in the comment below I will check it I will tell you if you answered correctly or incorrectly and why you answered incorrectly if you did okay 
Okay, for verbs we have, we don't only have action words, we also have what we call linking verbs. Okay, here we have our linking verbs. Okay, is, seems, be, am, becomes, been, are, feels, being, was, appears, were. So these are linking verbs. I'm sure that you have seen them so many times because every single sentence, every single sentence has it. Yeah, so please note that linking verbs do not show action. They don't show action, okay? Their only function is to connect connect the subject of the verb to more information about the subject okay so we will learn more about that later on here so we have two categories we have the action verb and the linking verb so we can compare what's the difference between these verbs okay here we have the sentence, John is texting his friends. Okay, John is our subject. John is who we are talking about. Okay, texting. Texting, sending a message. Texting is the verb action or action verb. Okay, so this is um, what we do, right? Yeah, okay object is his friends okay so for action verb we have the word texting now let's go here with our linking verb example lisa was a student lisa is our subject linking verb is was and subject complement is a student as you can see here in this sentence we don't have an action verb but we do have a linking verb was, okay, yeah. So was links our subject to the subject complement. Okay, so the purpose of linking verb is to connect two ideas in a sentence. All right. Okay, now let me do a clarification. A lot of learners are confused between linking verb, helping verb, and auxiliary verb. Okay, I want you to know that helping verb is also auxiliary verb. They are the same. Okay, this is just a fancy name for helping verb. Okay, so... If you hear auxiliary, just think it's helping verb. Auxiliary verb, helping verb. Okay. So we have action verb, linking verb, and helping verb. Okay. Never mind the auxiliary. <laughs> okay. You don't really have to remember that. Okay. So let us read our helping verbs. Is has does can could must be you can read together with me okay are have do will would may been am had did shall should might being was and were Mm, do you notice anything? Anything at all? <laughs> okay, so is, you probably saw the word is and was from the previous slide that we were um, learning, from the previous slide that we, uh, we used to learn linking verb. Okay, well, is, was, were these verbs can act as a linking verb or a helping verb depending on how they are used 
in a sentence. Okay. Also note that helping verb come before the main verb. They come before the main verb. Not unlike the linking verb, which only connects different parts of the sentence, right? But remember that a helping verb come before the main verb. Okay, just think of it as helping the main verb. <laughs> okay, so the helping verb is there before the main verb. Okay, let us uh, look at our identifiers here. Okay, let's identify helping verbs in different forms of sentences. We have here action in progress. John is doing the assignment. Okay, so the action is in progress. The action is happening. Okay, so our helping verb here is is the main verb doing is doing is plus doing is doing okay action completed before now the action has uh, been done it's finished okay john has completed the assignment okay so we have the helping verb has has comes before the main verb completed has completed has completed helping verb main verb okay so a potential action may happen in the future may or may not okay let us read the group can meet at the library can helping verb meet main verb can meet and finally, for an obligatory action, an action that you have to do, it's your obligation to do it. For example, Lisa must complete the application. Helping verb, must. Main verb, complete. Okay, well, that's easy to remember, right? Okay, I hope that you learned from this lesson. Thank you very much very much for uh, watching this video if you like it you like it give it give it a thumbs up leave a comment okay if you have suggestions um, any kind of message just leave it there I'll read it just what I always say anything at all I'm, I'm going to read